Hello, how are you today? Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? Guys, it's, it's me, Kai. Like, I'm, I'm messing with you, you know? This is YouTube. Uh, hey, hey, how's it going? Hey guys, I'm at Kai. I'm Kai. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to create like this kind of bannery kind of like flaggy looking thing in Blender, which is really cool. Um, It's like some kind of, you know, you put it over crests, you know, back in medieval times, you know, a banner over top of something and it looks cool. I, I really like the way that it looks. So we're going to get started today very quickly, very easily, actually, by going ahead and clicking default cube. And delete get rid, getting rid of him we can also just grab our lamp and delete, delete that but we'll leave it for now i guess we'll select our camera and it's alt d to clear the location we move it back to the center and we hit uh alt r to clear the rotation and put that back uh to where it belongs as well there we go so if we hit r x and then nine and zero on our numpad it rotates it on the x axis by 90 degrees uh left click to confirm that there you go. uh hit g and then y Camera backwards and hit zero. Going to the cameras. You nice. <clears throat> so next thing I need to do is we need to go ahead and go to hit shift A and search for mesh and plane. And I can see if I look at this thing, we can see that it's like a square, but I want it to be like a rectangle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit S and then hit X. Go on the X axis a little bit like that. Nice. There we go. Now the next thing I want to do is hit Tab. Go into edit mode. Now we need to use the loop cut tool to kind of make these segments more even because I want them to be more like squarish. So go ahead and like use this tool right here, which is the loop cut tool, one in the center, and then uh two, well, one here and then one here. So now we have four segments, kind of like four cubes for squares put together. We can go ahead and hit the select box tool up here again. Go back to that. Now we need to go ahead and kind of like make this like a flag a little bit. So grab these two by clicking and dragging a box. So all four of these vertices. It's G and Z to move it down, and then maybe G and X to move it in like that. Kind of maybe that way. We'll grab this piece right here. So hold on shift, select this vertice on the top, and then hold on shift. Grab that one. Hit E and then X to move it like that, right? Which looks nice. And then one more time. E, X, move it over like that. Maybe a little bit longer for this one. The last thing I want to do is hit this little loop cut tool once again. And then make a loop cut going length lengthwise, so across it like that. Now, back to the select tool, grab this vertice in the center, and then hit G X to fit on uh, the X axis inwards like that. Very cool stuff. I want to actually move this one up by one, maybe two. So hit E and then X, like that. There we go. So that's that. I want to also arc these. So uh, grab all of this, and hit G and then Z to move it up a little bit. And then hit grab all this and hit G and then Z and move it down a little bit. Actually, wait. Like that. Maybe actually just. Uh, and then. Uh, yeah, sure. Like that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, nice. Now, with that done, we have to go ahead and now we need to make this smooth, obviously, because it's like super sharp. So, go to the modifier tab here. Hit add modifier. Like subdivision surface. There you go. Now you can see it's a little bit smoother, but the problem is, is it smoothed it out a little bit too much. You have to go ahead and find some creases in some areas. So we'll select uh, this right here, and then we can do a couple things. We, we can subdivide it, but that's kind of going to mess it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to create some more, um, more topology. Well, not topology. We're going to create some more vertices, sorry, in this area by going ahead and going to loop cut tool, kind of adding a couple of loop cuts in here. Then we can manipulate these around the way that we want as well. So we can have it be a little bit sharper, a little less sharp. You can also go ahead and change this to simple instead. So it'll still, it'll smooth it. If we, oh wait, let's go back to this. If we change it to simple. You can see it won't really help us out too much in this situation. If we turn uh, the advanced quality up a little bit and put this back to the default, you can see it kind of like, you see how the edges, there you go, there you go. If you see how the edges kind of get more sharp and more round there. So we can maybe kind of get a little bit, a little bit of sharpness by turning the quality down. It's better just to keep the quality up instead. We'll just kind of add some more vertices in here. So the more vertices you have, the more ability you'll have to kind of make this a little bit more detailed. So grab these uh, three vertices in the back here. Then we'll go ahead and actually wait. We want to grab a loop cut and then we'll loop cut in the middle there. And maybe we'll pull that out like this. Pull these three down uh, and then down as well. Uh, so there we go. Nice. Looks cool. And then maybe we'll pull all six of these up. I, w I do want a loop cut in the middle of this. So a loop cut right here down the center. And then we'll pull this 
back. That, yeah, and then we'll pull these three up. So all three of these. Three, thank you. Those. All right, there you go. Cool. And then I think that's pretty much it. Like, I like the way this looks. Looking pretty good to me. I want to move this maybe up. No. Up like this. Straight down. Like that. And then maybe this uh, this side, the exact opposite thing. So we can also go ahead and do some something cool to turn that's called proportional editing. So if we want to, hit O on your keyboard. So hit the zero key. Or actually O, not zero. Um, you can see this turn this little button on right here. And what this basically is. Oh my goodness gracious. There's 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 alarms going off right now, guys. Oh, guys. Listen. Like, it's like it must be the morning time or something. It is morning, like, like four in the afternoon, actually. Um, so if you go ahead and hit G and Z to move this, actually G and Y, sorry, move this down. You can see that it'll move more than just the vertices we're holding, which is really, really easy for us to be able to move things around, which is cool. So let me do that. Move it up a little bit like that. Uh, maybe grab these and then hit Y, move it down like that. Maybe we'll have the little tips of these kind of go upwards. Actually, we'll, we'll change this fall off to maybe something sharp. There we go. So kind of like, there you go. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Cool. Now I want this to be a little less um, rigid here. Like, down. Roll wheel to change the amount that we're using proportional editing. I'm going to put a, another loop cut right there and then move it down. A little bit more of an S shape. There you go. That's what I wanted. Nice. Now if we hit, if we double tap R to rotate this, see we can kind of put it to the front and then use our camera. Hit zero to go into the camera's view. Hit S to scale this bad boy down. Now you can see we have a nice, cool-looking banner like that, which is very, very nice. So if we were to go ahead and grab our lamp, hit G to move it to the front of the banner here. Turn on uh, rendered viewport shading. You can see that this is okay. Uh, uh huh. Yep. And and there there we go. Nice. That's what it's gonna look like. I wanna move the lamp though. So about right there maybe. Like. I like it. Looks decent. This looks good. I like that. That looks nice. All right, cool. Now, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the banner real quick to, of course, that famous red color. And then we shall be done, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I do want to change the, the lamp at being there. Looks good. I think this looks... I kind of just wanted the shadow on the other part, though. Lighting's always... The... Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Nice, cool, 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 cool. And then maybe we'll do a second lamp and then we'll put it back to the center and then move it maybe like here. Turn shadows off. That, there you go. And you can also turn on smooth shading so you see the little ridges. For the object shades smooth and there you go. Now it's all fixed up. I want to turn on in the material for this, I want to turn on um, specular tint and also turn down the specular a little bit. Roughness down a little bit. Color to a little less. Nice, cool. There you go. So that's our banner. We can also make it so it's not shiny at all. Um, it also looks very cool. But uh, but yeah, so that's our banner. Hope you enjoyed it. It's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's that. Look at that. Super easy, super quick to do, and, and like really fun as well, actually. I really enjoy making this. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.